Hey, thanks. Two Rivers Police released an update earlier today on the continued search for Elijah Vu. The bottom line, Elijah is still missing. Police are saying they're continuing to search any way they can. Local farms and companies granting access to agriculture land, allowing authorities to continue the search there. Other companies donating equipment for the search and volunteers are also continuing to search today. He's a little boy um, who's three years old, knows nobody. Um, it just pulls at my heartstrings. So we just all want to find Elijah. And we've shared with you these photos so many times over the last two months. We'll continue to do so until Elijah's found. That Amber Alert is still active almost two months to the day of his reported disappearance. Two months of searching and questioning and wondering, where is Elijah Vu? That question remains unanswered and still top of mind for everyone who is looking for him. In a first alert update, Brittany Schmidt takes us back to the beginning of these searches and tells us where it stands to date. On February 20th at 11 a.m., Jesse Vang called 911 to report three-year-old Elijah Vu missing. Vang is the boyfriend of Elijah's mother, Katrina Bauer. Vang had been taking care of Elijah for the past week. We were called um, with the information that a child had walked off. Our initial belief was that this had happened within 15 minutes. In reality, Two Rivers Police Chief said it had been hours since Vang says he saw Elijah inside his apartment on Manitowoc Road in Two Rivers. That's where it changed the whole ball game, and now it was an endangered child. State and federal resources converged upon the city of 11,000 people along Lake Michigan. A 24-hour round-the-clock operation quickly in full swing to find the missing toddler. Boats launched, ATVs covered ground, drones hit the sky. Elijah's family making a plea for help immediately. We're extremely worried. We're, we're all emotional at the point, um, at the moment, and we, we don't want to think about the bad stuff that may possibly have happened to him, um, and we're, we're hopeful. Action 2 News caught up with parents and volunteer searchers. Elijah! Who assembled to help. I couldn't imagine it being me in that situation. I would want as many people as can be to be looking for my child. Meanwhile, within hours of the Amber Alert activation, investigators brought Vang in for questioning. The very next day, February 21st, Elijah's mother, Katrina Bauer, is also brought in for questioning. And then the following Monday on February 26th, both are officially charged with child neglect. The criminal complaint tells us why. Elijah had been with Vang since February 12th for disciplinary reasons to help with supposed bad behavior. Bauer wanted Vang to teach Elijah how to be a man. The detailed punishment in the criminal complaint includes tactics of standing for one to three hours at a time, threatened with cold water if he failed. Cell phone data legally gathered by investigators shows Bauer visited Elijah twice while he was with Vang, including on February 14th. That's where investigators say Katrina took a photo of Elijah lying on a bed. He had a, quote, blindfold over his eyes, appears to have bruising on his jawline and neck on the left side, as well as bruising on his upper left arm. That photo was deleted about an hour later. A few days later on February 16th, surveillance photos, the ones you are seeing right now, captured Elijah and Vang at an auto shop in Two Rivers. And then on February 20th, Elijah is reported missing. It's now been eight weeks of searching with very little clues made public about what might have happened. Investigators say Elijah's blanket was found about 3.7 miles from where he was reported missing. They've sifted through landfills, followed up on more than 1500 tips and leads and scanned through more than 10,000 video files. Investigators revealing this vehicle of interest in this case. It's a 1997 beige Nissan Altima with a plate starting with the letter A and ending with the number zero. In a recent interview, the Two Rivers police chief made it very clear what he believes didn't happen to Elijah. We have no evidence to believe that this child was abducted. That evidence has also shown that this child didn't just simply walk off. But he believes Elijah is still close to Two Rivers and he has no plans to stop looking. I get asked a lot, you know, do I still think he's alive? I don't know. Um, that's the sad truth of the matter. Um, I think about it just like everybody else all the time. I think everybody has that hope, but yeah, until we bring closure, I don't think that gut-wrenching feeling ever goes away. 
This billboard now on full display in Manitowoc, reminding anyone who has information that leads to the whereabouts of Elijah Vu could be eligible for a $40,000 reward. You just have to call that number on your screen. Cami. Brittany, thank you. A fundraiser for volunteer search efforts for Elijah is happening right now at the Mikado Theater in Manitowoc. The event family friendly. It's a magic show, refreshments, games, raffle prizes. The owner of the theater says it's a way to show your support for the Vu family. I think the family is going to enjoy the, the show support mm -hmm. um, and community, community members will be able to look at it and be like, this is how you come together and do something. If you cannot attend tonight's event, there are plenty of ways to donate online. Another event going on at the Deja Vu Bar. You can find links to the reward fund as well as the search and investigation fund on our website, wbay.com slash links.